What's up, MMO Attack fans? This is Zach here, bringing you a first impressions video for God's Rule. A brand new browser game currently in open beta, developed by Gogogic and published by Sega. God's Rule is a fairly interesting game in that it mixes social gameplay elements with established RTS elements to create a unique cross-platform experience. What this means is you can play on your browser and you can play on your iPad. And right now we're taking a look at the tutorial and basically there's this little wood creature there. It looks like he's asleep and a little spider and we've got a little window, a dialogue box has popped up. It says, oh God, what vile creature is over there? We're going to go ahead and click next. It says, we're in luck. Splinterrath, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, has come to our aid and sent us a bram bramble fiend, but we need to find someone to command it. Oh, and by someone I mean you. But, but wait, what should I call you? Okay, here's where I input my name. Uh, what do I want to call myself? I just want to put in some random characters. So let's see. That's a perfectly good name. Perfectly pronounceable name. He says, all right, let's 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 slay the creature and capture that relic over there. First, select the Bramble Fiend. So we're going to click on left-click on him. And then we're going to left-click on the creature. And the creature's going to go to attack. So graphically speaking, it's fairly cartoony, but the... Uh, the character models do seem to be in some sort of a th some sort of 3D, slightly cell shaded, if I'm not mistaken, or at least very well animated. You did it. Now it's dead. Now capture the relic to claim this land. Left click the relic to have the bramble fiend capture it. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. It's gonna take him a little while to capture it, I guess. When the thing all when it goes all the way down to the bottom, that means he's got it. All right, excellent. This relic's been captured and the land's been claimed. It should be safe to build our village here now. So we're gonna click next. Legend tells that a great leader will come to us in our darkest hour. Could that be you? This is your village. Some village. <laughs> it is yours to protect. It will also provide you with resources and warriors to command in battle. There are more than just creatures surrounding your village. There's also plenty of adventure and treasures too if you can get it. Here are all the resources that we have left. Let's use them to train melee units at the barracks. Okay, so we're going to click continue, and here, these are the resources we have left. Let's use them to train a melee unit at the barracks, just like they said. So, where that little arrow is pointing down, I guess that's the... I'm not sure if that's the barracks. I guess it is. We're going to go ahead and left click it. Yeah, that's the barracks. And it wants us to click production, and it's going to say, here's all the things you can produce. You can produce a spear guard, a ranger, and a growler. Looks like it's wanting us to produce a spear guard, so we're going to click on it, and then we're going to click add to queue and then we're going to click the red X. As you may have noticed, it takes time to train units for battle. Luckily, there's a way to train them instantly. Oh, great. Precious orbs, a gift from our god. Something tells me that's going to be a cash shop item. So we can click that. And let's see, you know a melee unit and a ranged unit make for a great combination, really. Let's use orbs to train it instantly by using a shortcut. So we're gonna go back into production and we're going to create a ranger now we're just we're going to click the gym icon here so we can go ahead and instantly train ourselves a ranged class. He says now you're ready for battle. There are more of those vile creatures lurking in those ruins over there. So we're going to click the ruins and we're going to click fight. So it's going to go ahead and produce a short little loading screen and here we are. We're back into the game now. This battle will be a bit more brutal than our first one. Let's kill those relic creatures and capture that relic. So we're going to go ahead and click next. We need to summon the units we just trained into the battlefield. Click the melee unit to summon it onto your summoning stone. So we're going to go ahead and click the spear guard. There he is. Great. Look at the summoning bar. We're able to summon one more unit. The bar fills up according to unit's population attribute. So we click next. Before you're able to summon another unit, you must move this one. So we're going to, I guess, left click, move him over there so we can get him off the summoning pad. And there we go. Now we're going to summon the ranger. And as you can see, that little orange circle there represents her radius of attack. And we can select multiple units like it's telling us. We just click and drag. I, I think you actually have to click this button over here on the top or the sort of the sort of the middle left. And then you drag over. And then you can simply left click an enemy and have them attack. Since I've been saving a spell for a rainy day, I can't wait to see Volcana in action. Here you go, smite those creatures, he says. So we have a, an ability that we can use. And it's a pretty, pretty nice sized AOE. So now that was even more glorious than I expected. Looks like you've captured an able spellcaster too. Now capture that relic. So we're going to go ahead and left click the relic. And we're going to tear it down. There we go. Victory. We, we completed the mission. 
So we're getting some battle XP here. We're raising our command level. We're going to go ahead and... Well, we leveled up. That's always cool. And we got... Uh, we're, well, we're just going to go ahead and click continue. We have a little summary there. It shows us how many kills we have. Units summoned, units lost. Things like that. He says, great job. Keep battling to earn XP and higher command levels. Now you have to decide whether you still want to side with us, the Keepers of the Ancient, or switch to and join the Souls of Ascension. So let's see. This is where we choose our faction. Which faction do we want to be? Let's read about them. Souls of Ascension focused on enlightened souls, elves, demons, and giants who have allied with the new gods with hopes of creating a better world. The Souls of Ascension rely on cunning, spells, collaboration, and improvisation to reshape the control to reshape and control the battlefield. Keepers of the Ancient, strong and relentless warriors. Humans allied with the old gods and devoted to restoring the traditions of a bygone era, the Keepers of the Ancient are masters of melee combat and wield straightforward but brutally effective magic. Hmm. I think I'm going to stick with the faction that I'm at right now. Do you want to stick with your name? Yeah, we'll go ahead and stick with my name. You need to register an account to continue. But I don't want to register an account to continue. But, uh, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to stop this video right here really quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and register an account, and I'll pick back up when I'm done. All right, that didn't take too long. We're back in the game now. And he says, the legends are true, my lord. The sacred trees only blossom in the presence of a true leader. Things are happening so fast. We must focus, my lord. We have to train even more units and prepare to slay the souls of ascension. So we're going to click on this thing again. We're going to produce some more units. Looks like we want to produce some more spear guards. And it wants to produce them right away. Spear guards, rangers, and the growler. Uh, what's the growler? It doesn't look like we can mouse over it to see any sort of statistics, which is kind of odd. So we're just going to go ahead and close out of that. And we're going to load a ship. Random fill. I guess it wants to take everything randomly. And we're going to go to the battle map, a loading screen there for us. Here's the battle map. It says, these are the contested territories we're fighting for. Red belongs to the Keepers of the Ancient. Blue belongs to the Souls of Ascension. So we are going to, looks like we're going to click on Midgrove. You were entering your first battle against another leader like yourself. Don't be discouraged if things get a little rough. Okay, well, does this mean I'm fighting against another player? I'm not quite sure. Possibly, but I don't know. So, okay, we're back to the battle screen now, and hopefully I don't mess things up too bad. I'm going to go ahead and select and try to attack with my bear here. And if, if I can do it, I want to summon the spear guard, but I guess maybe I have to... Well, I didn't move. I didn't know you could move that little pad there. That's kind of cool. Looks like I don't even need to summon most of anything. This guy's pretty much doing everything on his own. He doesn't even need my help. I'm not sure why. I'm not. I'm not really sure why I'm having so much trouble summoning the other. Uh, the other units, though. But again, it doesn't really look like I. I need much help because he seems to be handling things pretty well on his own. Well, forever the reason, though, let's go ahead and keep attacking these guys. I don't think they're going to put up much of a fight with just my one little, with just my one little um, NPC here doing most of the fighting for me. It's like, how long is this thing going to take to capture? I wonder, hopefully this isn't going to take too long, but he's just kind of sitting over there. I really wish I could figure out how to summon the other, <laughs> the other units. I don't know why they, they're all grayed out. I can't select them, and I don't quite know why. Somebody a little bit more experienced is probably going to have to show me what, what I'm doing. You can move this thing, but I'm not quite sure what good moving it actually does. I keep accidentally moving it because I'm trying to click on the um, the bear. I'm going to move you over this way. What happens if I put this on top? Okay. Somehow, apparently... If you want to summon more units, you have to move the summoning pad on top of another one of these little summoning pad things. And I, for some reason, I guess I just got off of one. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but uh, the more you know, right? So let's have all three of my units now attempt to capture this thing. And it seems like it's going to take absolutely forever to actually do. But let's move the summoning stone right over here to see what we can do. See if we can do any. See if we can uh, rush things a little bit. I don't think so. But as you can see, that little bar at the top middle there, it seems to be filling up in our favor fairly quickly. So I wouldn't imagine this match would last too much longer. And there we go. So it says we've got it. 
victory it says um, battle XP command level is gonna increase same deal we're gonna go ahead and click continue well that was very very easy that must have hurt the outcome of this battle influenced the war but it's not too difficult for mortals to continue to control these territories for long it says we're gonna click village guess it's good to be back huh there's still heaps of stuff to do unlock and experience I made a list of tasks to help you out so we can click on this guy's face again and he'll show us all the different tasks let's take a look at the tasks on the top of the list I think it's time to raise a building this is your first task my lord and it's time to start building build your first build your village's first mine to start producing iron select the mine from the build menu and then place it on your land so we're gonna click the build menu and we're gonna click the mine button and we're gonna go ahead and click build looks like we can place it uh, pretty much anywhere we want to so it doesn't really take too long to build it only took about it's only gonna take about 10 seconds I guess by the time it's all said and done one zero there we go there's the mine we've got the mine so we're gonna go ahead and start building our things there and I think we can just talk to this guy again and complete the task and we're gonna go ahead and claim when we get a reward there this is where task rewards are claimed after you've completed them I think I could figure that out we're going to click task again and then we're going to go ahead and escape we're going to click the sacred tree we're going to upgrade the sacred tree we can use speed ups for time consuming operations like these here my lord use this one so we're going to do that and it's going to take it about a minute i would say to go ahead and upgrade this tree so let's see what else we can do can we click on this guy no we can't so i guess right here we're pretty much going to have to wait about 40 seconds to see what's going on and while we're waiting I'll go ahead and talk about the user interface fairly self-explanatory stuff at the top left you have your name a title your level sort of in the left side of the middle of the screen on the left side you have all of your resources in a list very easy to see what they do you have your um, that guy that well, I'm not quite sure what he is but the guy that gives you all the tasks is there at the bottom and then of course at the bottom middle you have your build menu your battle map you can load a ship and then you have your options sort of on the right side of the screen so after saying that it looks like we've just about upgraded the tree and he says I guess that's it my lord just follow the tasks I've laid out for you and you'll be spilling souls of ascension blood in no time so we're gonna go ahead and close and can we come yeah we can go ahead and come and uh, claim some more rewards we have a lot of different things to claim so we got some more tasks right there that we can do you can just cycle through them all and see which all the ones that you want to do but I think that about does it for this first impressions video for God's rule if you guys want to check out more about the game head on over to MMOattack.com for more MMO gaming news reviews opinions and other awesomeness